What if we could understand consciousness? Why should we understand consciousness? Well, if you don't have a problem with it, that's fine. But if you have a problem with your existential condition, you might be interested in resolving the question, how is it possible that I find myself uploaded into a monkey? Why am I born in this universe? Why am I locked in here? How can I get out? Or what could I do to change what I am in this universe? How can I change my identity? How can I become what I want? To answer this question, we need to look at our spark and we need to find out how it is expanding itself, how it's interacting with the world, how it's shaping the world. And this question of who we are, how consciousness works, has fascinated thinkers, philosophers for several thousand years. And I think that we are now in a situation that for the first time we might be able to find an answer. That's because for the first time we deeply understand the nature of languages and representation. We have fixed our mathematics into such a form that we understand how objects can be described and we begin to understand the nature of self-organization. We understand how something can reinforce itself and imprint itself on the universe and train the universe with itself. And I find this question completely fascinating, not just because it is um, related to us, but it's also related to all other structures that we observe in life and also in society. This question, what is the spirit of a relationship? What is the spirit of a society? What is the spirit of a civilization or an entire biosphere is deeply related to this question. What is the spark in us that wants to go out? And where does this spark come from? Does it originate in the spark in the individual cells? Is there something that is even lower than this? And how does it all fit together? In some sense, I think we can think of consciousness as an error-correcting pattern, something that is of resisting the onslaught of entropy in the universe for as long as it can and build more and more complexity, more and more insight, more and more potential for creating interesting things. Hello, my name is Joscha Bach. I'm a cognitive scientist and AI researcher. I currently work for the startup Liquid AI. We build alternatives to neural networks and transformers and understand how learning works in the most general case. But I'm also building a consciousness research initiative in San Francisco right now. And uh, to me, this question of uh, what consciousness is, is the most interesting question in the world.